Hi, and welcome to Two Tired Teachers coming at you from Eisenhower State Park and the birthplace of President Eisenhower. And the state park has this main road that drives, that goes the entire length of the park. It is a large park, and it's divided into various camping loops. Yes. This is the loop with water and electricity. And um, there is one sub loop that comes off there right. that's just water. But um, these sites are well defined, they are fairly private. And some of them are quite large. And these sites are quite a bit larger than the full hookups because you have a tent pad yes. here as well as um, just having the, the pad to, to back into. We had a gorgeous site and um, as you can see it's, it's well shaded. Some of them got a little more sun than others. So Some of them got full sun. And so you really want to kind of to check that out, but we did have a pair of road runners building a nest above our site, but it is a gorgeous site. We were really pleased with this. This is the boat ramp, and then we get to the full hookups. And the full hookup sites are all pull through. And um, they were about three quarters full. The the water and electric were not. We got there Sunday afternoon, and the, I'm sure they fill up over the weekend. Yes. But uh, even during the week, the full hookup sites had quite a quite a bit more. Yes. Um, were a lot fuller than the ones that were just. This is a group area, and it is for RVs, and there are water and electric hookups. In Out in that parking, parking lot. lot, so if you're having an event or, uh, for some reason, a family reunion that didn't want campsites, these are screened shelters. Keyword is screened. There is no AC in those. You, they were empty. You don't want them in August. But uh, spring and fall, it's a great option. Yes. But uh, there are a number of those here. And then these are some of the water-only sites. And this particular set that we're showing you here are just curbside. There is also a, um, on this loop, there is also a fishing pier, and I'm going to show you that, and one of the things we want to mention about this park, it's gorgeous, and it's on Lake Texoma, but access to the water is not easy. No, it isn't. There's one boat ramp that you can actually kind of drive down to with a fishing pier. This I fast-forwarded because it is so far climbing back up to the road. Now, there is a fishing, a lighted fishing pier that you can get to you, easily that you can drive to but this one this is like I said I did fast forward I didn't walk all the way down to the pier but that gives you some yes. idea this entire park is on a bluff and this is the day use area you can uh, it's a gorgeous place to yes. have picnics etc and there is a there was a little day use area in that first camping loop and then this one as well this is their swim area and again, it's on a bluff. And so. this is very steep. I'm going to tell you, this part was extremely steep. That's why there are rails there. And you'll notice they're kind of like speed bumps. And that's to kind of help you get some traction going up and to help stop you as you're going down because it is steep. I'm telling you. And uh, it's doable. Obviously, I did it. But um, I didn't. It's <laughs> the water access is just not that great. We mentioned that this is Eisenhower's birthplace. As you're going down 75, you're going to see this, and you can actually stop and come over and walk around it. And it's in Denison, Texas. That's where the park is, too. And those are memorial bricks that people have have uh, donated, and then it's this is just a really nice memorial monument. Yes. And then the birthplace, you can actually go and you can, this is a really neat little information area. And it's in a house of the same period. Yes. It's in the neighborhood. It's right down the street. And from, it is free to go in here. It's free to go in here and tons of information and really interesting information. 
and also a little video you can watch. Eisenhower only lived in Denison for 18 months. But they claim him. <laughs> you bet they do. And uh, they, if you actually want to go inside of the house, then it you pay for that. But otherwise you can come. Nominal. Mo yeah, nominal fee. But otherwise you come, you go through this museum area. It's all free and really interesting information. And then you can walk down and walk around the outside, as you're going to see, of the actual birthplace. And that is free as well. And uh, the furnishings in the birthplace are from the same time period, but they didn't belong to the Eisenhowers. But it was, um, there were a number of people there. Yes. Just reading the information, because like I said, this is... Um, and he was, Eisenhower was a hero. He started the NASA program. He was instrumental in ending World War II. And so, there's, it's just a really pretty part and uh, a state landmark. This is the actual birthplace. This is his, the, the home where he was born. And uh, in the late 1800s, I think 1890. Yes. Yeah, I believe you're correct on that. And um, this, you can come up and um, you can look in. But and there is a tour. If you look to your left here in just a second, you're going to see there's actually a man in there, and that's how he He's got with in. The tour. <laughs> He's with the tour. Uh, we didn't get there for that tour, so. We just walked around the outside, and um, but if you're in the area, it is something to see. It is something to see, and um, this is what about an hour and a half north of Dallas, hour north of Dallas. Yes. But be careful on your GPS on how they bring you there. Be sure that you've unhooked, obviously, before you go. There are two of these uh, fairly substantial older underpasses, and. Um, so you want to make sure that you don't bring a large trailer if you're coming through that area. A fifth wheel. Uh, mm, tricky. But anyway, and then this is just part of the downtown area. And it's a cute, quaint Texas town. And, um, yeah, you can see, and it's still well used. They, this is their current downtown area. Yeah. Well, Sharon, what have you thought of Eisenhower State Park? Glad we finally got back up here when it wasn't flooded and we could actually see a little bit more of the park. Me too. And uh, it is, we've had a very relaxing time here. Yes. And most definitely. That has been nice. Um, with the proximity to Dallas, um, it, you've seen in our video water and electric sites there were plenty available full hookups were just about at least three-fourths full yes um and then traffic and construction 75 is under construction by the way the park and i don't think we've said this yet if we have then we forget and repeat ourselves um is just four miles west of 75 so a very convenient yes. location. And uh, and it has been a lot of fun, and we've learned a lot about road runners. and there's one right across the street right now, so if the dogs start barking, that's... We took their campsite. I mean, what can we expect? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, it's been a lot of fun being here, and um, so I hope you've enjoyed our look at Eisenhower State Park, and um, it's certainly worth a stop if you're in the area. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Two Tired Teachers. teachers.